Well, everybody knows that jets carry baggage, but I had no idea. Talk about an up and down week in the NFL. You know, think about if you're Santonio San Holmes. First, you find out that the guy who actually threw the glass at the girl has owned up to it. This is the same guy that the girl said originally threw the glass before she changed her story to try and get more money out of you. You come home with this happy news only to find out that your team thinks it's really happy news because that makes it so much easier to trade you. Obviously, this wasn't a one incident decision. He has earned a four-game suspension for violating the league's drug policy. He had a drug arrest two years ago. Four years ago, he had charges related to a domestic dispute incident, which were eventually dropped. But remember, as far as the NFL is concerned, looking bad is looking bad. Once again, perception is largely reality. And you're looking at someone, all right, maybe this wasn't going to be the problem that puts him away and knocks him out of the game. But you get the impression that that problem is coming. Remember, Santonio San isn't some sort of average receiver. This guy has won the Super Bowl MVP. He has made perhaps the greatest catch in all of Super Bowl history to win a Super Bowl. To trade him for a fifth round draft pick, obviously there are some headaches that we're not aware of here. It also shows you what kind of commitment the Rooney family has to keeping the Steeler image clean. What this adds up to is, Big Ben Roethlisberger has to be absolutely quaking in his boots right now. Going back to the superposition of states idea, Big Ben is essentially guilty and innocent at the same time. Technically speaking, no charges are going to be brought. On the other hand, he wasn't exactly exonerated either. There's no webcam footage of some girl saying, you know what, I'm going to go and try and extort Ben Roethlisberger. Watch this. Essentially, he's in the same position as Santonio. He's facing a possible suspension, a probable suspension. Let's face it, he's going to be suspended. For how many games, nobody knows. One game, two games, three games, 12 games. I just, you can't tell. He's a tremendous athlete, but he has a huge image problem. And a track record for doing the wrong thing. Don't get me wrong, I think it's excellent news for him that they're not going to press charges against him. And the fact that the girl didn't want them to press charges against him because she didn't want her life investigated speaks volumes as to what's going on in the situation. On the flip side, it doesn't do all that much to help his image. You're still hanging around with the bad girls in the back of the bar, and that's not the Steelers' image that the Roonies have tried to create over the how many decades have they owned the team. And so far, it looks like the Steelers might give him a shot to try and clean his act up. Because he did get in a little less trouble than Santonio did. Just a little less. Little, little, you see how close my fingers are? It's a little less trouble. But I would not be surprised if sometime, even perhaps this week, Ben doesn't get a call that tells him, pack your stuff, you're going to the Rams. Because the Rams are looking for a quarterback, and they've got a number one draft pick. I will guarantee you this, if Ben so much as steals a grape out of the grocery aisle at the Value Mart, he is going to be playing on another team if another team will take him. He might be working at the Value Mart. Which would make him the exact opposite of Kurt Warner. And apparently this isn't just Big Ben's problem. I mean, you look at Tiger Woods, you look at even Jesse James, you look at so many NFL players, so many NBA players. It goes back to the whole Kobe Bryant thing. There are so many players and so many famous people who, once you get fame and fortune and you can pretty much do whatever you want, you start to do stuff that people perhaps wouldn't approve of. Except you're forgetting the fact that a lot of your fame and a lot of your fortune rides on the fact that people approve of you. Since serious advice is available from any number of directions, I've decided to try and provide some lighthearted advice. Some advice that perhaps will give the players a chuckle and still impart some wisdom into the situation. And this really could apply to almost any professional athlete. Here are the top 10 things that no coach wants to hear on his or her answering machine. Coach, listen, I, 
just want to tell you that this is not my fault, okay? First of all, I had no way of knowing that speedometers don't work in reverse. That, that's a safety problem as far as I'm concerned. And the other thing is, that cop had no right to even check in my speed when I'm in a cornfield, all right? Uh, call me back. We have to talk. Coach, listen, I just wanted to call. I'll tell you not to worry. My agent assures me we can get Johnny Cochran, okay? Talk to you soon. Hey, Coach, listen, I don't know what the big deal is here. It's not like it was dogs. People kill millions of chickens every day. Have them for lunch, dinner. Uh, call me. Coach, listen, I, I need you to, to call, um, uh, what, what police department am I in? I'll, I'll get you the number. Anyway, I need you to call and tell the officer that I get a lot of colds and that I always buy 50 packs of decongestant at a time. Thanks. Hey, Coach, uh, listen, I'm just uh, calling to apologize. I'm sure everything was legal in Nevada, you know what I mean? Um, look, give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. Coach, I don't know what you're seeing in the news, but I just want to say right now that guy had it coming. He parked in my favorite parking spot, okay? Give me a call back when my plane for Tijuana leaves in an hour. Hi, Coach. Hey, uh, listen, before I tell you what went down, uh, let me just say that Rick Ryan said he'd take me if you're really mad, okay? Uh, give me a call back when you get a chance. Hey, uh, Coach, uh, listen, give me a call back. i got a quick question for you. Um, uh, statutory means it doesn't count, right? Uh, just get back to me when you finish you can. Hey, Coach, uh, listen, I need you to call me right back. Uh, one of the guys, remember when you said you wanted a bottle of Uzo for your birthday? Well, he thought you meant uh, Uzi, and uh, now, well, we've got a bit of a problem here at the airport. Give me a call back. Coach, Coach, I don't know what to do. I just... Oh, wait, wait a second. Huh. Oh, phew. Never, never mind, Coach. It's okay. She's still breathing. End of messages. Other than that, guys, the best I can tell you is try to find a hobby, you know? Perhaps you could take up golf. No, no, wait, no, no. Never mind. Yes, I know they're not going to bring charges against him, but they made it clear that they're not bringing charges against him, not because he was exonerated, but because they just don't have enough evidence. 